بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا لیکچر نمبر ون آف چیپٹر سیون الیکٹرو کیمسٹری اینڈ ٹوڈیز ٹاپک از ڈاؤن سیل سو لیٹس اسٹارٹ فرسٹ وی ول ری کیپ دا پریویس لیکچر ان پریویس لیکچر وی ہیو ڈسکسڈ اباؤٹ دا بیٹریز اینڈ دیز بیٹریز آر دا گلوانک سیلز وچ آر یوزڈ ٹو پروڈیوس دا الیکٹریسٹی and then we have discussed about the dry cell which is a type of galvanic cell in which zinc is used as a node and graphite rod is used as cathode and then we have discussed about the electrochemical industries and uh, how they are beneficial for the production of different products by using the electricity down cell is used specially for preparation of sodium and chlorine gas Sodium water and chlorine gas are the very important products and they are used as a starting materials for the industrial production of a range of substances such as plastic, sodium fluoride which is found in toothpaste and other substances. Neither sodium nor chlorine however occur naturally in the nature but we do have a plentiful source in the form of salt. so we can obtain these both of the products uh, chlorine and sodium metal from nacl salt the sea is full of it and we can easily get it from there so our today's topic is down cell in on industrial scale sodium metal is extracted by the down process and the principle of this cell is that it it is based on the electrolysis of sodium chloride there are some drawbacks of down downs method as we know that the melting point of sodium chloride is 801 degree centigrade and at this temperature molten nacl and sodium form a metallic fog in the container which is impossible to separate so for um, removing this draw back from the down cell we add a mixture of nacl and calcium chloride into the electrolytic cell so the melting point of this mixture is 600 degree centigrade and at this temperature no melting fog is formed and we can separate the sodium metal without any fog more easily now we are going to discuss the construction of down cell step by step As you can see in the diagram down cell consists of a rectangular container of steel and inside of the tank is lined with fire bricks an rod is a graphite rod which projects centrally up through the base of the cell and cathode is a ring of iron which surrounds the anode there is a wire gauze for the separation of anode and cathode then we have a sodium collector which collects the sodium after its preparation at the cathode and there is a bell like hood which is submerged over the anode for collecting the chlorine gas in the absence of this hood the chlorine gas can be mixed with the sodium metal and we will be unable to get the pure product we have an opening in the electrolytic cell for for collecting the electrolyte nacl in melted form and we have a chlorine outlet on the hood for collecting the chlorine gas which is formed on the anode and then we have a sodium outlet from where we will collect the sodium metal which is uh, sodium metal in melted form which is formed at the cathode now we are going to discuss about the working of down cell In down cell we are going to use the molten NaCl as electrolyte and when electric current will pass through this electrolyte it will decompose into the sodium ions and chloride ions sodium ions being positive charges they migrate towards the cathode which is a negative electrode and there they will gain electron and convert into the sodium metal while chloride ions they are negatively charged ions and they uh, will move towards the positive electrode that is anode and 
एट द एनोड दे विल लूज इलेक्ट्रॉन क्लोराइड आइंस विल लूज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड कन्वर्ट इनटू द क्लोरीन गैस सो द प्रोडक्ट सोडियम इज ऑब्टेंड एट द कैथोड एंड क्लोरीन इज ऑब्टेंड एज द एट द एनोड इन दिस डायग्राम वी कैन सी द रिएक्शंस व्हिच आर टेकिंग प्लेस एट द एनोड एंड कैथोड इन दिस इलेक्ट्रोलाइटिक सेल Um, first of all the molten nacl will ionize into the sodium ions and chloride ions in the cell and these chloride ions will move towards the anode where these chloride ions will lose electron we can we know that one chloride ion will lose one electron so two chloride ions will lose two um, electrons and these both chloride ions will convert into chlorine atoms these two atoms will combine together to form a chlorine molecule that's why in the chemical reaction we will write two chloride ions two chloride ions they will lose two electrons and convert into chlorine gas at the anode and sodium ions they will move towards the cathode and we know that one sodium ion has plus one charge so it is in need of one electron and so Um, here we are writing two electrons to balance the equation two electrons uh, two uh, sodium ion, ions will gain two electrons and they will convert into the sodium metal so these are the reactions at cathode and anode now by adding the two reactions which are taking place at cathode and anode we will get the overall reaction like this sodium ions and chloride ions on the left side they will combine to form nacl to nacl and on right side we will get two moles of sodium and one mole of chlorine molecule so the overall location is two nacl gives two sodium and one chlorine some related questions are given here as your homework you have to write and learn the answer of these questions thank you allah hafiz